Something very important happened this month. One PP moved away from another PP, and as a result, your PP has gotten more robust. No, this is not some kind of weird, kinky crossover episode. Instead, what we're talking about here is arguably the least kinky thing ever, but it's still very important, and that's airport lounge access. And everything I just said is gonna make perfect sense by the end of this video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, then what we do on this channel is talk about maximizing credit card rewards to travel the world like a boss. If that sounds interesting to you, or if you're an existing viewer who really enjoys the content, then go ahead and hit the like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. In today's video, we're gonna be covering the latest changes to the airport lounge access strategies for Canadian travelers as of July, 2021, because this month, there's been some beef, there's been some drama among airport lounge operators around the world. And so some of the strategy around which credit card to get and which credit card to hold has changed as a result. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm and then we'll get started. All right, so to fully explain to you what's going on with airport lounge access for Canadians, I need to start by explaining what the status quo was for airport lounge access over the past couple of years. And we'll start by introducing our first two PPs, Plaza Premium, which is an airport lounge operator that operates airport lounges in select airports around the world, including Canadian airports, Toronto, Vancouver, Winnipeg, and Edmonton, as well as Priority Pass, which is an airport lounge network. So it's a membership program that offers you lounge access to over 1300 lounges around the world. Now, most of you might be familiar with Priority Pass because a Priority Pass membership tends to be a very popular credit card benefit on premium travel credit cards issued in Canada, the United States, and worldwide. Here in Canada, for example, the American Express Platinum Card and the Business Platinum Card come with unlimited Priority Pass memberships that gives you unlimited lounge access for yourself and one guest, whereas the Visa Infinite Privilege Cards and some Visa Infinite Cards come with Priority Pass memberships that give you four to six complimentary lounge visits per year. And so the big story here is that until July 1st of 2021, Plaza Premium Lounges were all part of the Priority Pass Lounge Network. And so your Priority Pass membership would grant you access to Plaza Premium Lounges. Let's say you had one of the Visa Infinite Privilege cards with six free visits to a Priority Pass Lounge per year. Prior to July 1st, you could have used them to visit the Plaza Premium Lounges in Toronto Pearson, Vancouver International Airport, Edmonton International Airport, and Winnipeg James Armstrong Richardson International Airport up to six times for yourself, or up to three times for yourself and your spouse, or up to two times for yourself and two fellow guests, and so on and so forth. However, as of July 1st, 2021, PP the Plaza Premium has severed ties with PP the Priority Pass. They had an existing contract, they decided not to renew it, and then as of July 1st, you can no longer use your Priority Pass membership to access Plaza Premium Lounges. And that was said to be an especially impactful change for Canadian Priority Pass members because so many of our major airports have such a large concentration of Plaza Premium Lounges. Toronto, Vancouver, Edmonton, and Winnipeg, besides Maple Leaf Lounges, which are operated by Air Canada, and you can only get access to if you're flying in business class, have elite status, or you have a premium Aeroplan credit card. Besides those lounges, the only other lounges tend to be mostly Plaza Premium lounges. And so not having access to those lounges through our Priority Pass memberships looked set to be a fairly big blow. So that was the situation going into 2021. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, oh, I used to use my American Express or Visa credit card to access the Plaza Premium lounges at my home airport in Canada or at one of the airports that I frequently visit, and now I won't be able to anymore. Thankfully, there are a few mitigating factors here. The first factor rests on the sheer strength of the lounge access benefits on the American Express Platinum and Business Platinum cards. By the way, that's why in the intro I had mentioned that your PP is getting more robust as a result of these changes. PP meaning personal platinum, obviously. I don't know what you were thinking. Let me explain. Remember how PP or Plaza Premium, the airport lounge operator, was a part of PP or Priority Pass, the airport lounge network, and then they split up? Well, PP or Personal Platinum, and I guess BP, Business Platinum, actually have lounge access benefits that cover both 
of these companies. So the personal platinum card and the business platinum card give you an unlimited priority pass membership that offers you unlimited access for yourself and one guest, but they also offer you unlimited access to Plaza premium lounges directly as part of the card's benefits. And so even though Plaza Premium and Priority Pass have split up in July 2021, that doesn't actually affect personal platinum and business platinum card holders at all, because you can directly flash your personal platinum or business platinum credit card at the lounge counter at a Plaza Premium lounge and gain access directly as part of your credit card benefits rather than as part of your Priority Pass membership. Arguably, this slightly elevates the value of holding onto the Platinum card and the Business Platinum card in the long run in spite of their higher annual fees because you know that you'll still continue to get lounge access at these major Canadian airports even though Plaza Premium and Priority Pass are now separate. And that certainty is something that's not being afforded to Visa cardholders in Canada. Visa cardholders have gotten a temporary reprieve until mid-2022 with this airport lounge situation as a result of the divorce between Plaza Premium and Priority Pass. But what happens after June 2022 is still up in the air. Again, let me explain. Remember how Plaza Premium had broken up with Priority Pass? Well, it turns out that they were talking to other people behind their backs the whole time. Because shortly after announcing that they would not be renewing the relationship with Priority Pass, Plaza Premium also announced that they'd be launching a new strategic partnership with a competing lounge network called Dragon Pass. Dragon Pass is headquartered in Guangzhou, China, and going forward, they will be the official lounge network partner of Plaza Premium rather than Priority Pass, whom Plaza Premium have ditched. And so as a result of this unexpected love triangle drama between the airport lounge operators and the airport lounge networks, Visa Canada was stuck in a little bit of a tricky situation. Visa obviously promises to its infinite privilege cardholders and select infinite cardholders this benefits of a Priority Pass membership with six lounge visits per year. Now, how would you feel as a Visa Infinite Privilege or Visa Infinite cardholder based in Toronto, let's say your home airport, and suddenly your Priority Pass membership doesn't get you lounge access at your home airport anymore. And so what Visa has done is they've stepped in and established a new bridge partnership with Dragon Pass to offer continued lounge access to Plaza Premium Lounges for these infinite privilege and select infinite cards until June 30th of 2022. Until that date, all Visa Infinite Privilege cards, including the BMO Eclipse, the RBC Avion, the TD Aeroplan, and the CIBC's Aeroplan and Aventura, will get six complimentary visits to Plaza Premium Lounges, both within Canada and globally, through the Dragon Pass partnership. And that's gonna be in addition to your six complimentary visits to a Priority Pass Lounge per membership year, which remember, no longer encompasses Plaza Premium Lounges. And so over the course of 2021 to 2022, Visa Infinite Privilege cardholders actually get double their usual lounge allowance six complimentary visits to Plaza Premium Lounges through Dragon Pass until June 30th of 2022, and six complimentary visits to Priority Pass Lounge visits for their membership year. Oof. Plaza Premium Priority Pass, this is getting to be a mouthful. Anyway, it's a similar story if you have the Scotiabank Passport Visa Infinite, or if you have the CIBC Aventura Visa Infinite or Aventura Visa Gold Cards. These cards usually give you six, four, or four complimentary visits to a Priority Pass lounge every membership year. And until June 2022, they will also give you six complimentary visits to a Plaza Premium lounge through Dragon Pass. So anyway, long story short, if you're a Visa cardholder who previously had access to the Plaza Premium lounges through your Priority Pass membership, Visa has taken care of you for at least another year. You'll continue to have access to the Plaza Premium lounges especially the ones in Canada, and especially if it's at your home airports, at least until June 2022 through this temporary limited time Dragon Pass partnership. In terms of actually accessing the lounges, there's no registration required or anything like that. Simply show up and flash your visa card, and then they will determine your eligibility for accessing the lounges, including how many times you've used this benefit so far based on your visa credit card number. But after June 2022, it's anyone's guess what's gonna to happen to the lounge access benefits on the premium Visa credit cards. Will they continue to go with Priority Pass even though their footprint within Canada is now severely curtailed? Or will they just simply adopt this new Dragon Pass partnership 
and just offer Plaza Premium Lounge access for Canadian cardholders, potentially Dragon Pass might be making a play to pick up even more lounges anyway, so that might be the move that Visa goes with after 2022. We shall see. Anyway, I wanted to make this quick update video for you guys to ensure that you're up to speed on the airport lounge access drama in Canada and make sure none of you are showing up to the Plaza Premium Lounge with a priority pass in hand and wondering why you're getting turned away. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Prince of Travel YouTube channel. Just click the subscribe button below the video. And I'm curious, what's your take on the situation and what's your airport lounge access strategy going forward? Are you a personal platinum or business platinum card holder who now values your card more because of that direct access into both Plaza Premium and Priority Pass? Or are you a Visa card holder who's perhaps feeling happy about the doubled lounge access benefits this year, or perhaps feeling uncertain about this split between Plaza Premium and Priority Pass in the long run? Let me know, and I'll see you in the next video. <coughs> PP means personal platinum in this regard. I don't know what else it could be. I don't know what you were thinking. No! Network. We need to do that again.